Hey everyone, um, should be a, a short video this one. What I want to do is um, swap out the um, M4011 um, Geiger tube out of this uh, GMC 300E um, Geiger counter um, and I'm going to swap it for um, a Russian um, SBM20 uh, because this is uh, slightly more um, sensitive than the, the tube that's already in, in this Geiger counter so it should make it a little bit more sensitive. Um, so uh, I'll probably have to do some uh, soldering to uh, change the the, um, the mounting points um, and possibly adjust the voltage and um, recalibrate as well. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, take the back off. Okay, we've got the gag count here with the back removed. Um, you can see here the um, existing Geiger tube with, um, you can hopefully see just here, different uh, mounting points for the for the clips. So all I need to do is uh, unsolder this one here and extend it out to, to there. And uh, probably do the same on this one here because the, the new tube is um, quite a bit bigger. But it, um, it should fit in no problem at all. So to get started on this, I just need to take out the uh, PCB out of the, the front of the case. Um, disconnect the battery, obviously. Next step is now to uh, take out the, the old uh, Geiger tube. Next step is to uh, unsolder these two uh, spring clips to hold the Geiger tube in. So, quick desoldering job. Right, that's the two uh, clips removed. So I just need to uh, reposition these now to uh, to fit the SBM20 tube. Right, so I've got these um, these positioned in the the outermost mounting points, um, and that seems to fit the SBM pretty well. So I just need to solder these up. Okay, I just tried to install the tube and I've noticed that these little um, retaining tabs which stop the, the tube moving um, laterally in the, uh, in the mount points um, is uh, getting in the way. It still doesn't allow enough room to get the tube in. So I'm just going to uh, break these off um, and then we can get the tube in. Okay, that's the tab removed on that side and on that one as well. Now one thing I should uh, mention about this is because this is uh, now a different tube, um, most tubes run at slightly different voltages. Now I'm just checking on uh, on here the M4011 tube, which is the one I took out, um, operates between 380 and 450 volts, which is what this will be currently set to. Um, the SBM20 operates between 350 and 475 volts so it's uh, it's bang in the middle of the the operating range for the uh, the tube that I took out anyway so I should just be able to leave this as it is um, and it uh, it should work fine right I have my piece of uh, uranium glaze fiesta wear So the next thing I need to do with this is uh, recalibrate the um, counts per minute to uh, sieverts per hour uh, because there obviously is a relationship between the number of counts and the dose rate depending on the size of the tube. So now the, the tube is, uh, is a completely different tube, has a different sensitivity so we need to um, go into the menus and adjust the uh, calibration on this. So to apply the calibration to this, this particular unit, you have uh, three numbers, which is calibrate one, two, and three. Uh, the way this actually works is um, you need a, a calibration factor for, the, for your particular tube. Um, in this case, the SBM20 um, is a conversion ratio of 175 counts per minute 
per microsievert per hour. So if you had, uh, say for example, um, a thousand counts per minute with this tube, divided by 175, that would give you a reading of 5.71 microsieverts per hour. So these are the numbers that you actually need to put into the calibration fields. If I go into the menu, so if I go into calibrate one, I'm basically saying the counts per minute of 50 equals 0.28 microsieverts. On calibrate two, I'm saying 500 counts per minute is equal to 2.8 microsieverts per hour. And on calibrate three, 15,020 equals um, about 86 uh, microsieverts per hour. There's um, some slight issues because I can't put in um, decimal places and things like that, so I, I have to be as, as accurate as I can be with this particular unit, but uh, um, I'm sure that's good enough for, for the stuff that I'm doing. So as I said, for the SBM20, the calibration factor is a um, counts per minute divided by 175. Right, well, I think that pretty much concludes this video. Um, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, hit the like button. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, pop those into the comments section. I'll be uh, happy to reply. And I'll see you on the next video.